Hello and welcome to this tutorial about the white balance tool. In the easiest case, the white balance can be used to match the overall color temperature of an image to a reference image, simply by picking a color. To illustrate that, let's pick a color here on the right side. And you see that the white balance tool adjusts the image on the left accordingly. When picking a color, always make sure to pick from a tool which is not influenced by the white balance itself. If you would pick on the white balance tool itself, Fusion would be unable to decide if it should pick from the original color or from the modified color by the white balance tool. You can also decide in which color space the white balance tool should work. In this case it's sRGB, but you can also pick from a variety of other color spaces. The Use Gamma checkbox ensures that the image is linearized prior to applying the operation of the white balance tool. Instead of the custom method, you could also match the colors by temperature. So, for example, mapping from 6500 Kelvin to 4800 Kelvin. A more advanced use of the white balance tool is to match the black, mid and white points on different footage sources. Like for example in this case, where we create a composite based on this blue screenshot and this background shot. And now we want to match the black, mid and white points from the foreground footage to the background footage. So we unlock the block black, mid, white button here, view our keyed image on the left side and our composite on the right side. Since we only influence the keyed image, we can actually view our composite here while adjusting the white balance on this image. So let's pick a reference for black. Maybe like so. And also pick a black reference in our resulting composite. Maybe somewhere down here. Let's do the same with the mids. and the whites. You still can refine this a little bit, for example, to come up with a result like this. And always remember, as with any other fusion tool, you can bring it down the blend of the tool to modify the effect. The white balance tool also comes with a ranges control similar to the color corrector which allows you to define which areas of the image fall into the highlights, the shadows and the midtones.